Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. Yes, it's him. It's actually him, Cinched. I finally got good at Cinched and I can finally bring you guys an actually good video on Cinched. The reason that it took me so long to make a Cinched video is because I really wanted to get good at him so I can give you advanced tips on how to build him and how to play him. In the beginning part of the video, I'm going to be explaining how to build Cinched. If you just want to skip to the gameplay, timestamps in the description. By the way, a quick little challenge. If this video reaches 1,500 likes, I'm going to do another Cinched video. You know what? Just screw it. I'm gonna do another cinch video in like two weeks if this video reaches that likes. Okay. Honestly, it's quite simple. Oh, my camera just crashed. Um, honestly, it's quite simple. I have tested out some different builds and this is by far the best build. I can tell you that you can always go for this build. So let me explain. You start with the Leandris. This is gonna give you very reliable damage and especially you start with Haunting Goose, whatever this item is called. This is the core item on Singed because the whole point of Singed is longer fights, right? Longer fights. So start with this item, it's gonna provide you a lot of value. Okay, so as I said, start with the Leandris. After the Leandris, get Boots. Get Tier 1 Boots and get Boots of Swiftness. I really recommend you to get Boots of Swiftness, but if you like, if you have 3k gold and you can backport immediately and get the Rylai's Crystal Scepter, skip the boots and just get this item. But as I said, generally you want to get boots of swiftness immediately because it's it's just so good on Singed. Um, okay, this is gonna be this is always gonna be your second item as well. Rylai's Rylai, I don't know how to pronounce this item, but this item gives you tankiness, ability power, and the slow. This is huge, guys. When you get this item, you become infinitely stronger because the whole point of Cinch is, of course, running away and make the enemy chase you. This item is going to allow you to run away and slow the enemies behind you. Very, very strong. In the gameplay video, I'll show you how you can really utilize this item's power spike. Okay, about the boots, 95% of the game's boots of swiftness. However, if the enemy really has a lot of stunts, like really, really a lot of stunts, you can choose to go for Mercury's Threats instead. Because, of course, if they lock you down, you cannot run away, right? So only if they have a lot of stunts, like Twisted Fate and, I don't know, you know, a, a lot of stunts. Basically, if they have a lot of stunts, you can get the Mercury's Threats. I don't really like to go for Plated Steel Caps. But, however, if I am against a full attack damage composition, I do go for Plated Steel Caps. But only against full full attack damage like if the enemy has zero zero like zero ability power go for plated steel caps otherwise as i said 95 percent of the times boots of swiftness about the enchantment um i see a lot of people go for swift glory uh, for glory yeah because this one gives you a lot of movement speed to catch up to the enemy however i'm different i don't go for i never go for glorious enchant actually i always go for proto belt let me explain um, I'm not saying this one is bad, it just doesn't fit my playstyle. So I do recommend you to try out the Glory, but I also recommend you to try out Protobot. What the Protobot allows you to do is get close to the enemy and throw them back with Singed's third ability. That's the whole point of Protobot, nothing else. Also, of course, it can be good to run away. Like, let's say the enemy is catching up to you, you can just use your Protobelt to run away even further. But as I said, the whole point is to use the Protobelt to the enemy ADC or mid laner or whatever, and throw that squishy target into your team. That's the point of Protobelt. After these two items, you go defense. It depends. Does the enemy have ability power? Go for force of nature. Does the enemy have attack damage? Um, you can either go for frozen heart or dead man's plate. Let me explain. If you feel like the movement speed from Boots of Swiftness on top of this slow is still not enough, like if the enemy really has a lot of fast champions, you can choose to get a Dead Man's Plate because Dead Man's Plate is going to make you even faster, okay? But if you feel like you don't need the extra uh, uh, movement speed, you can choose to get a Frozen Heart. I really like Frozen Heart because Frozen Heart gives you a lot of armor, as you can see, more than the Dead Man's Plate. It gives you max mana and it gives you 20 ability haste. So you can spam your ultimate, your third ability, everything. So this item is going to make you stronger. However, you, you, can, you can go for Dead Man's Plate if you need more movement speed. I never do it, almost never, but it can be good, of course. See, the, the reason that I never do it is because I get a force of nature anyways. And this item also gives you movement speed. So, you know, as I said, I don't personally like that man's plate. I just go for this one. You can also get Randuin's Omen. Um, I only get Randuin's Omen in one scenario, which is when I'm against a Yasuo and an ADC who has crit damage. For example, Yasuo and Jinx, both of them have crit damage. Then you need to go for Randuin's Omen because, of course, it reduces crit damage. 
if the enemy has a lot of healing, you can also choose to go for Thormil. Um, however, as you can see, here is the green book. If you go for Thormil here, of course, at the end, you have to go for a different item than the green book. You can go for Infinity Orb. Um, actually, only Infinity Orb would probably be the right choice here because Cinch doesn't really skill very, very well with ability power. So Infinity Orb is going to provide you more value than a Rabadon's Death Cap. You can also choose to get a Void Staff as your last item. If the enemy has a lot of magic resist, then Void Staff can be good. So do you get my point here, guys? If the enemy really has a lot of healing, get a Thormil. If they don't have a lot of healing and you, you are fast enough, get a Frozen Heart. After your Frozen Heart, it depends. Does the enemy have magic damage that, you know, that is kind of annoying to you? Get a Force of Nature. If you feel like you don't need any defense against magic damage, um... You can choose to get another item like you know Thormil. I, like I really like Thormil because it not only reduces healing but also deals damage around you. So instead, you can go for Thormil then, and of course, as your last item, as I said, Void Staff infi or Infinity Orb. Don't go for the Green Book and Thormil. It's a waste because the Green Book gives you the, like it gives you almost the same stats as the Infinity Orb, but the passive is useless because you know magic damage does. Um, applying grievous wounds you don't need it because the thormil already does it so that's how you build singed i really hope this cleared up a lot of questions about how to build singed as your runes conqueror now okay i have seen and i have tried fleet footwork but no honestly no it's just you lose so much damage when you go for fleet footwork on singed like the thing is you can stack up the conqueror so easily on singed so that's why i always go for conqueror so the way that you need to play with conqueror which i'm going to show you in the gameplay too is more passive obviously with the fleet footwork you're going to have more sustainability in the lane but it's like late game you're going to lose so much damage so conqueror is in my opinion a must-have now here i've tried different runes i've tried brutal i've tried gathering storm have i tried anything else no i've only tried brutal and gathering storm because the other ones don't really make sense so gathering storm it's not bad it's just that you will be so weak in the early game if you go for gathering storm and you know the enemy can absolutely punish you so i go for brutal and you should too because brutal is going to give you that big 14 ability power in the early game which is huge like, you're going to be so much stronger than the enemy when you have Brutal. So this one is going to allow you to just survive the early game, right? Because you're going to be able to trade with the enemy. The enemy cannot just simply out-damage you. So go for Brutal. Don't get a Gathering Storm because you're going to get punished super hard. As your third rune, in 90% of the games, Spirit Walker. You just, as, like, you know, you just want to walk super fast, not get slowed by anything. However, does the enemy have a lot of stuns? You know, if they have a lot of stuns, silence, roots, things like this, charms, you know, when, when you get Seraphim, Ari, these champions, you can choose to get a Hunter Titan as well. Because Hunter Titan also gives you tenacity. But the problem with this one is it gives you less HP in the late game. Spirit Walker immediately gives you, boom, 50, 50 HP in the early game. So this one also contributes to your early game weakness, uh, you know, to make you stronger, to compensate for your weakness. As your fourth rune, Sweet Tooth. You really need Sweet Tooth, guys. Because as I said, Singed is very weak in the lane matchup. And the whole point of Singed is to reach late game. And Sweet Tooth is going to allow you to do that. And the intro is already almost nine minutes long, so let's get a little quicker. So spells, I use Ignite and Flash. Now, of course, I see some people use Ghost. I don't use it, however, because honestly, you'll see it more during the gameplay. You don't need it. You just don't really need it. You're already fast enough in a team fight. I go for Ignite, however, to be able to really destroy an enemy, like to finish off an enemy that I'm going for and Flash to Flash away. So I don't go for Ghost. I really dislike Ghost, but i see others do it but you know i, I don't want to teach you the wrong things because of course it can be good because others have a lot of success with it i don't so i don't go for it okay that was it about the build let's get into the gameplay all right guys are you hyped i am hyped i, I don't know about you guys but i'm really hyped about this video because you guys have been asking me to play singed for so long and i didn't forget singed guys i didn't forget singed Please, okay, I didn't forget Singed. I kept playing him. Like, I think I played him, like, once every two days, maybe twice. You know, just to, like, every time I wanted to learn him. And then a few days ago, I played him, like, eight times in one day. And then, you know, I started to get the hang of him. So, in this video, I will show you some cool tips and tricks to, uh, on how to play Singed. How to lane with Singed. But the reason that this video is especially good as well is because I make a lot of mistakes too. Which I see a lot of Singed players make. So, I will be talking about those mistakes too okay so let's take a look here you know i'm against a galio and this is how you want to lane with singed you you kind of want to chill you know you want to relax and get the last hits 
However, when you feel like you can, just use your farts, you know, the first ability, and run into the minion wave, and then go back. Because your farts, you know, the, 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 the gas is gonna deal so much damage to the minion wave, and, and allowing you to clear it up. Look, look at this. See how, see what I'm doing here? This is perfect gameplay. This is absolutely, this is really, really good. So, it's true that I'm not, like, I'm trading evenly, but it's kinda hard, you know, because Singed is really weak in the early game. But, as you can see, I'm making him lose farm under his turret, playing Singed aggressively like this, and, um... Yeah, of course it depends what your matchup is. When you're against a Darius, you cannot do this, okay? Because a Darius is completely gonna punish you. Um, against a rough matchup like Darius or a Fiora, you know, against these matchups, you really have to play it careful. So the way that you have to play against these, the, the rough matchups, is you just gotta get the wave under your turret. You really cannot do anything else. What you can do, however, is um, Bait the enemy Darius to get close to your turret and then throw him under your turret. That's what you can do. So let's take a look at that. Here I tried to throw him under my turret, but I actually filled my flash. Ouch. That was really, really bad. I tried to throw him under my turret, but I filled my flash. See, this would have been such a good play if I had actually done it correctly. Because, you know, your, your third ability, this is a very important ability of Singed in the early game. Because this ability can just throw the enemies behind you under your turret. Which is a true game changer. If you can pull it off correctly, and practice makes perfect, by the way, you can just throw them under your turret and root them. Also, you can sh you can throw your second ability on the ground and throw an enemy in your second ability. And when you throw them in your second ability, you know, in the area, you're going to root them. Do you see my point here, guys? When you want to get good at Singed, you really have to, like, get good at using the third ability. This is one of his core abilities and, um, like, a big, big part of Singed. So this is also a tip that I have for you on clearing the wave. When you want to clear a wave, use your fart, the first ability, and then throw the big minion in the middle and hit the big minion. Just like that, you know, as you can see, you can clear the wave super fast on Singed. And as you can see, the first item that I got is the green mask. This is this is a core item on Singed. You never want to get uh, just flat magic as your first item. Always go for the green mask. Always. It's all, like, as you can see, I'm already fighting him. Look at the stacks. It already has five stacks. Do you see my pointer? You always have to go for this one. Singed is not a burst champion. Singed is a sustain champion. And um, even though it may not seem like it, Singed can actually do crazy amounts of damage. And in this game, I think I dealt the second most damage in the game. And almost as much as the first. You'll see. You'll see. You know, you'll see what's going to happen in this game. Um, so with Singed, you really got to have patience. You know, like, as you can see, like, I'm not doing, I'm really not doing anything on, to the Galio. And you shouldn't get discouraged by this, because this is how Singed works. Singed is not good at these 1v1s like this. Singed is a monster in team fights, An absolute monster. And you'll see it later on in this game. Absolute monster. Um, so, uh, wait, what was I going to do? I got a message from my cousin. Yeah, because I'm going to play with him uh, after this game. So yeah, well, what was I going to say? I just got completely out of my rhythm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Another tip that I have for you on Singed is, you know, dragons, uh, you can do dragon fights. Especially when you get your first item before the dragon, rotate. Because you're going to provide so much value at the dragon. You know, I have Leandris right now, so I'm going to be incredibly strong during the first fight. So I should definitely rotate then. <clears throat> so play Singed to his powers. This is a thing that I always like to say in my videos, um, uh, play your champion to his powers, you know, like Lee Sin is good at catching out an enemy, Evelyn is an assassin, Galio can engage with his ultimate, Oriana good in teamfights, what is, what is Singed good at? Teamfights, not 1v1s or 2v2s, teamfights, 5 versus 5, take a look at this, I just used my ultimate, like, it may not seem like it, but I'm being very annoying in this team fight. Like I, I actually dealt a lot of damage in this team fight. However, I did make a small uh, positioning mistake, which did get me killed here. So, um, if you guys are really enjoying the content, I am doing a 15 skin giveaway on my YouTube channel. All you gotta do to enter, put down a comment under this video, you know, and other videos to increase your chances. Because I pick 15 random winners this whole month, and this support Garen just got a quadra kill. Oh my God. This is horrible. The support Garen, they have the enemies have a support Garen, just got a quadra kill. Crazy. So what am I doing here? You know, I'm not getting tilted because getting tilted is a waste of your uh, effort. 
I'm just pushing the mid lane, you know, making the enemy lose farm. And here, like, I made a mistake, like, you know, I'm overextending a little bit. But what you can do on Singed is you can throw the enemy away with your third ability, and then you escape. And boom, easy kill. You know, I did what I could, and I ran away. Um, so really, okay, how do you how do you fight with Singed? That's also a good question because it's not it's, it's really not easy to play Singed, guys. It took me weeks to you know get good at, enough at him to um, to make a video, and I ha I've had better Singed games. Like I've had Singed games where I won, where I was like six on one or something. But I actually choose to not upload those because in those games I didn't make as many mistakes. So I you know I don't think it's good for you to watch. Instead, I chose this game. This was a really rough game, and I did good plays and I did bad plays. So I can teach you the good and I can teach you the bad. So I think this is this is the perfect game for Yuju. So here, like you know, this is what you can do in lane against a weaker matchup like Galio. And unfortunately, I'm getting ganked. Take a look at this. I'm just getting ganked, and I tried to run away, but he just smites me and kills me. And you know what do I have to say about this? Is look at your map. I was not looking at my map here, you know, I was not looking at my map and I just got killed because I didn't know where their jungler was and I went for an unnecessary fight on Galio. Obviously you never want to do that, it does. It just didn't make sense that I would fight the Galio there. What I should have done is I should have just stayed under my turret because I had no idea where the Kha'Zix was, no idea at all. And let's take a look at this, like I'm gonna make the same mistake again. So as you can see on the top side you can see Kha'Zix, okay? So you can see that the Kha'Zix is there, they're trying to attack my turret, what should I do now? I should just try to defend. So let's take a look. All I should do is just try to defend. So, okay, I defended it, you know. I defended the turret, which is okay, nice, you know, did a good job. So let's take a look what's going to happen after. <clears throat> so right now I only see Galio, and look at what's going to happen. I'm just farming, and I get killed again yes however they are very low and my Lee Sin is on this side of the map so it was not that bad like you know I, I stayed there because I was like yeah my jungler is here anyways but they killed me faster than I thought and when you're against these champions like Kha'Zix or Evelyn or Lee Sin you know these burst heavy champions you really got to be careful of these ambushes because they can just instantly kill you you know, it's not a sustained damage champion. These are the burst champions that are really strong at ganking. So when you're against those, when you're playing Singed in the early game, you are still squishy because you have zero defense. Like right now, I have zero defense. So that like um, Singed early game playstyle is here and late game is here. It's totally different. It's the complete opposite of each other. So um, the early game, you play it passive. You just farm. You don't go for unnecessary fights. Like here I go for another unnecessary fight. I just use my ultimate for no reason. Like as you can see, you know, I'm doing okay against the Renekton, but I just wasted my ult. This is not good. This is not what you want to do. You know, even though I'm winning the trade, I wasted my ult. I just wasted my ult. That's it. So what I'm doing here is actually good. I just ignited him. Now why do you think this is good? The reason that this is good is because I'm either forcing him to stay or I'm gonna or I'm gonna get the turret, you know, or I'm gonna just hard push the turret. And he's gonna lose a lot of farm. So let's take a look. He stays. And I see Kha'Zix in the bot lane. So, you know, Kha'Zix is in the bot lane, and um let's take a look what's gonna happen. Ooh, too close, man. I'm just kinda trying to bait him, but I almost died actually. Wow. So as you can see, you know, it's really, really hard to play Singed in the early game. But trust me, once you get defense items the tables turn you become a monster so right now i got the rylai's crystal scepter whatever it's called and this item is going to give me slows on my first ability this is a huge power spike this is where you get strong like this is where singe starts to get like you know super strong so right now i have the damage but no defense so my playstyle still has to be careful i cannot just walk in the middle of the enemy which you can do in the late game. What I have to do right now is either try to focus their ADC or I have to make the enemies chase me. So let's take a look what's gonna happen. So as you can see, you know, I'm not going too deep. What I'm doing is I'm just running around. Like I'm running around and I see the ADC and I go for the ADC. I am not going in 1v5, however, because that doesn't work. That really doesn't work. So let's take a look at this. Oh. Look at this. Oh, I ignited him. And he just died. Take the heal as well and they cannot kill me. 
they cannot kill me guys <laughs> this is how you wanna fight with singed in the early game guys or mid game i should say but the same goes for early game you just run away and when you see the enemy adc or mid laner perhaps go on them throw them behind you so they so they get so they get out of position and uh, waste their time keep running away don't stay in one place and basic attack enemies just run keep running run 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 so in this game i actually did decide to go for dead man's blade and the reason for that is because we're against a garen who can very easily catch up to me we're against a jinx with her second ability you know her second ability can uh, slow me so having more movement speed is going to be very very nice and uh, Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix can jump around and slow me with his second ability too. Also, he can catch up to me with his ultimate. So in this scenario, I am actually going to go for the Dead Man's Blade. Only because I feel like I need even more movement speed. But you know, as I explained during the builds part, I almost never go for Dead Man's Blade. Uh, yeah, Dead Man's Blade actually. Almost never. <clears throat> Wait, I need to turn on uh, Do Not Disturb. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so here I just want to get the turret because we can it's, it's like a free turret But it seems like our jungler doesn't want to get the turret. So no, I'm just running away So right now, this is where the game is gonna change. This is where I will be transitioning from mid game cinched to late game cinched Okay, so what's the difference between mid game and late game cinched? Late game cinched is a monster as I said All you gotta do is use your ultimate and go 1v5. I'm not even kidding You can genuinely dive into the enemy take some damage and then just run and when you're running, they cannot chase you. Because if they chase you, they're going to take insane damage. But you're going to zone the enemy so well with your fart gas. Like, you're going to fart all around the place. And it's going to be very hard for the enemies to avoid the fart gas. You know, it's going to stink everywhere for them. So that's the whole point of Singed. Zone the enemies. Use your fart gas to deal a lot of damage. And don't allow the enemies to freely maneuver around. That is the power of Singed. And that is what you can really, really do when you get to late game Singed because you have defense too and please guys don't go for full ability power since because it's trash okay go for defense like look 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 i'm going in the middle of them they cannot do anything they're not gonna be able to kill me look at this do you see this like do you see my point here guys this is the change now i can play incredibly aggressively and they they cannot do much about it they really cannot like look he's dealing zero damage to me <clears throat> and here you know I slowed the enemies, dealt a lot of damage, tanked damage, and my team was easily able to win the fight because of that. And um, see, you, the way that you have to see Singed is not as a carry, but as a time waster. Even though you can deal crazy amounts of damage, you are not, you are never gonna carry the game. Almost never. You are, however, gonna waste their time. And you're gonna drain their HP, drain their movement speed, while your allies can really destroy the enemies. And that's the whole point. And even drain their attack speed if you get the frozen heart, you know? So that's how you have to see Singed. It's not your standard carry champion. It's just, you know, the annoying guy that just keeps, you know, farting everywhere, dealing damage, slowing the enemy, slowing their attack speed, wasting time. That. Time waster and stinker. That's what Singed is. And that's how you really have to play him. So Zed is that there. I really couldn't do much about him. But the dragon is up. So let's take a look at what's going to happen here. Here, you know, three enemies. Let's take a look at what's going to happen. I use my ultimate. Four enemies. They cannot do anything. They cannot do anything. The only one that can do something is Garen, however. You have to be really careful of Garen because his ultimate can execute you, you know? So when you're a little lower, you have to be careful of Garen. So take a look at this. They really, really, really can't do anything against me. There is no way that they can kill me except for Garen's ultimate. So take a look at this. One versus three. I'm slowing all the enemies, but the Garen ultimate killed me. And this is what I was talking about. Um, you have a lot of defense, but true damage shreds right through your defense. So examples of champions that have true damage is Garen, is Camille, is Fiora. These are the champions that you have to be really careful of because their true damage is going to shred through all your armor. So you're basically the same as the squishy cinched for them. You get my point here? You like nothing has changed to them because they have true damage anyways. They can execute you. They can just do full damage to you anyways. So yeah, I really don't know what the Lee Sin is doing here. It's very, very questionable. And he actually completely failed his smite. <laughs> that was um, questionable from the Lee Sin. Yeah, okay, let's not talk too much about that. 
it's it's still okay because I like me the Malphite and the Kaisa are doing really really well in this game. You know the Kaisa is dealing a, the Kaisa is dealing a lot of damage. I am being the the time waster, you know the farter, and the Malphite is being the initiator. We have all the things that we need to win a team fight. So let's take a look at what's gonna happen. You know, let's take a look at the fight because the enemies do have the dragon now. But um, yeah, here you know I'm taking damage. What am I doing? Just clicking on my ultimate, and they are not easily gonna kill me. So now I have my ultimate. I really have to utilize it. Like when you use singed ultimate, you really wanna use it. Like if you don't have your ultimate, you're much much weaker. So whenever you use it, you really wanna take a fight. So as you can see here, you know I'm really going for the fight. And the Zed actually just completely entered, but um, here. I'm just running around. Take a look at this. You may not think, but I'm dealing huge damage to the enemies. Huge, huge, huge damage. And I'm also slowing all of them. So, as you can see, this is what Singed can do. You can waste all of their time. You can do so much damage in a teamfight and just be super obnoxious. Like, they cannot do anything against you. Except for the true damage, by the way. Keep that in mind. The true damage is dangerous. So here, you know, catching out the Jinx with my third ability and the end. Whenever she is in my fart cast, she cannot run away. You can never outrun a Singed. Because with my item, the Rylai uh, Scepter, I'm going to slow the enemy Jinx. And she cannot run away. She just cannot run away. So, yes. Let's take a look at what's going to happen here. I told him to smite because he filled his smite and he actually didn't smite it. I don't get it. Like I'm diamond one in this game, and why do people not know how to smite? Like I've had I've had two more games as well today with an evident that just didn't know how to smite. We lost. Uh, I got her two games in a row, and in those two games we lost. We lost. We didn't get a single dragon or baron, she, and and not a single rift herald either. She filled every single smite. She just didn't smite. That's the thing. <laughs> and she had evident as well. Evident is the easiest champion to secure dragons and barons with. So here I got the thormill. So as I said, whenever you get a Thormill, you don't want to go for the green book. And in this game, I actually went for Rabadon's Deathcap, but that would be a mistake. In this game, I should be going for a Void Staff, because Garen, has, Garen is very tanky, they have a Galio that is tanky, and... Uh, do they have another champion? No, Garen and Galio, yes. So I should have gone for a Void Staff in this game. Like As I said during the build part, you really don't want to go for Void Staff, uh, not Void Staff, Rabadon's Deathcap, because... Singe really doesn't skill that well with ability power, you know? He skills okay-ish, but it's not gonna be worth it. Like, I should have either gone for Infinity Orb or the Void Staff. It's, it's just a better item. So here, you know, we have Baron. So we're doing 1-3-1. One, one. I'm pushing top lane, my team is pushing bot lane and mid lane as well. This is the most pressure that you can apply when you have Baron, right? Push three lanes and just destroy the enemies with your power minions and that's what i'm doing here and that's what also that's what ultimately is going to win us the game because they really cannot do anything against three baron waves they cannot do anything <clears throat> so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh singed video you know as i said 1500 likes on this video and i will make another singed video so if you enjoyed this video Make sure you give it a like. And, you know, remember the skin giveaway? Put down a comment under the video. So let's take a look at how much damage I actually did. Because I'm kind of curious now. I kind of forgot. Look at this. 30,000 damage as a singed. 30,000 damage. So thank you guys very much for watching. And, uh, yeah. I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Bye-bye. <laughs>